there everybody this is Megan and I am very much pleased to welcome you all once again here in Meg's vlog YouTube channel for another amazing English lesson for you today and I can't wait to be sharing it with you all right so our lesson for today we will be highlighting the making of conditional sentences in English it's here the lovely conditionals I will be discussing the basic structure the usage of the conditionals in English. So if that topic, if you if you think you have studied that topic before, this will be an awesome revision for all of you. But if you haven't it, if you haven't <laughs> studied it yet, this will be a great introduction for all of you guys. So if you're ready, grab your pens and notepads and let's get started. So, let us all dive in into our new lesson, which is the conditional sentence. Okay, let us all define first the conditional sentences. What is a conditional sentence? Conditional sentence is also known as a conditional clause, or sometimes it is called as an if clause. It is, consists of two clauses. The dependent clause plus your independent clause. Your dependent clause us usually is your in uh, your if clause. I'm sorry. It is a sentence that begins with an if. It suggests a certain condition for an action to meet in order to achieve a certain result, which is here. Your independent clause is your result clause. Okay. Now let's go to the four types of conditions. Conditionals, I'm sorry, in English grammar. The first one is the zero conditional. The second is the first conditional. Third is the uh, second conditional. And the fourth one is the third conditional. Let's take first the zero conditional. Zero conditional is used to a certain situation that is true all the time a scientific fact or a general truth now let's look how how it looks like how is it look like what is the structural form for the zero conditional for your if clause the tense that you will be using is in the simple present tense plus your main clause which is your result clause is also in the simple present tense or condition. Remember, the zero conditional talks about general facts or general truth. Now let's take one good example for it to be much clearer for, for all of you guys. If water temperature reaches 100 degrees, it boils. Right? As you can see there, the if clause or your if sentence is setting a certain condition to achieve in order for you to get the result. Is it true that when water reaches 100 degrees, it boils? Yes, it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was stuttering. Now, let's take another good example. If you stand in the rain you get wet is it true that when somebody gets out there and, and if it's raining you get wet it's true right so that's that's the first example of the zero conditional so it sets a condition if if you can achieve that uh condition that is being set you will have the result that you expect to have now let's move on to the first, yes, number one, the first conditional. The first conditional, it is used to talk about a action that might happen in the future or an, ex uh, uh, an expected, expected result in the future. What is the pattern for the first conditional? Your if clause is in the simple present tense form, 
plus you use since it is future time we will be using an auxiliary verb will for the positive or the affirmative forms of the sentences and if you are going to use a negative one you will use won't plus the main verb let's take one good example if i study hard if i study the if i study hard i will pass the exam get it you understand so i'm setting a certain condition of if i study hard in the present i will pass the exam the result of my studying hard in the present will be i will pass the exam okay now let's move on to the second conditional which one of my favorite actually second conditional is used to talk about hypothetical cool. hypothetical situation or unpredictable or, or i mean i uncertain situation or let's say for example unreal situation not true situation so what's the pattern the correct pattern is simple pass for your if Plus, plus your would, okay, plus your verb. Okay, now let's take one good example. Imagine, okay, remember, for the second conditional, it suggests a situation that is not true, that is far possible to happen. Okay, one good example. If I won the lottery, I would buy a, I would buy the most expensive car. If only how I wish. Okay, another example is if I had a lot of money i would travel a lot since i don't have a lot of money it's far way far way possible for me to you know to travel so it's it's you're you're suggesting a situation that is not real now let's move on to the third conditional the third conditional it talks about a person imagining a different result in the past imagining a different past or uh, or you're imagining a action that did not actually happen in the past what is the pattern for your if clause you have your your if clause is in the condition of the past perfect plus your would and have plus your past participle one good example is this I if I'm sorry if I had studied hard I would have passed the exam get it if I hadn't got sick I would have gone to your party so it's just an imagination in the past if only it happened that action in the past i would have do this in the past also so that is for the third conditional so guys this video is just an overview or the most basic um discussion with regards to the conditionals and i still have a lot of lessons and um beautiful english lessons for every one of you so uh just um just uh, wait for it if you haven't subscribed to my video for you to be able to be updated for my to my latest uh videos never ever forget to click that red button and that bell icon for you to be able to receive a no notification if there is a new updates of videos from my 
next vlog YouTube channel. And I would like once again.